is all youtubers around the world here I am again Lord of Shadows long time no see yay here I am and oh yeah sorry um, and of course Grand Animal Wolf is returning as a supporting role of Lord of Shadows hope you have a good time for Christmas for New Year's and let's continue and let's get this show on the road shall we fair enough fair enough Okay, here we are, Star Wars Rebels Season 3, Ghosts of Geonosis, Part 1 and Part 2. We eat so many snippets, so many stories, so many memories, and of course, a comeback of an old character that we saw since the Clone Wars, and, well, the previous, well, uh, about and from the, the new Star Wars movie. And from the wrong one movie, Saw Gerrera. Exactly. Saw so Gerrera, ladies and gentlemen, Which is in awesome. this episode, yes. Saw so Gerrera in, in this episode, ladies and gentlemen, and of course he's voiced by the same fucking actor who at, who played him in Rogue One, Forrest Whitaker. Yeah, I think I guess his name right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, frankly, before we start and everything, what did you feel about the episode? In, I mean, like I said, remember, we're doing part one and part two together, so what did you feel about the episode? Well, uh, what happened was overall... Really, really, really decent. Uh, lots, lots of uh, memories brings back from the Clone Wars, uh, especially from uh, Clone Wars from the Geonosis and from the endings of the, of the movie uh, Attack of the Clones when the Clone War has uh, started. Overall, mm. Geonosis, uh, all references, as he said, of course, a lot of, a lot of uh, characters and not just any uh, references, but also a Death Star. Yeah, it's all more precisely Operation. Operation Stardust. Of course. Oh. Oh, of course. Yes, we have this reference. Even if in this uh, episode story, I mean part one and part two, uh, I mean it's, the reference has a different meaning, which me means to the big poisonous. Uh, so the poison canister the yes. Empire used to wipe out uh, Genesis. the Genesis. The Empire used to wipe out Empire. the entire Genesis. Uh, I mean Genesis kind, yeah. uh, the race, a little more precisely. So I mean, in, I mean in the episode it was. All about the canisters, but you know you get the idea. Yeah. You know when it comes to the reference and everything, with the, which are well, not forgetting. We, uh, I mean, even if the entire genus were wiped out, we have a survivor. Yep. Click clack. Click no, clack. No, it's click clack. Click clack. Yeah. Click clack and his egg. Yep. Exactly. The two survivors of his own, of their own kind. I mean, uh, I mean, when it comes to spe speaking of Genosis, I mean, I will talk about the end. So, the entire plot of the of the, of the part two uh, episodes are, you know, the ghost crew arriving on Genosis, trying to find out what Sogra has found out uh, about, uh, you know, on the planet, and of course to bring him out of there, you know, and return yeah. with the proof to the rebellion. And yeah. nothing as simple as life, as always, and complications arise. Of course, you know. and of course, in, the, in this episode, we have Rex, we have Ezra, we have Chopper, we have. Zab, we have Hera, Sabine, fuck him. we have all the entire ghost crew yeah. alongside Captain Rex, like I said before. Yeah. And of course, alongside the Sword Guerrera and Quack Quack. Yeah. 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 But and always. And not to mention good old Clankers. Yes. Except for his Clankers. Yes, and exactly. Yeah. State of the art. Uh, that, that time was a state of the art, but now it's a little old. Since, but since still functional shield generator. Since, since the Phantom Menace. More yeah. precisely, the Clone Wars. But, you, but, but we get it, they get yeah. the idea. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. also sure, in this episode, CO generator. Oh yeah, yeah. So like so like we said, you know, they arrived at the planet. They found you know nothing but dust, desert, nothing. Everything was wiped out and everything. Until they find now, you know, our little friend, like we saw, mentioned a couple of times, click clack, the last generation alive. I don't mean I not mean I'm not counting the egg because it's not born yet. Yeah. Yeah, but when, speaking of the egg, you know, which like uh, if you remember when Captain Rex said it's a queen egg, you know. I wonder, you know, when I first time I watched the episode, I wonder, you know, if, like, like we, you know, until the end, you know, if there are still any survivors of the Genosis and everything, because for me, I don't believe he, uh, he's the sole survivor. No. 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 I mean, no. Uh, first of all, like I said, uh, like we all know, Genosians, you know, are capable of, of surviving any kind of, you know, this destruction, wars, and everything, mm -hmm. you know, they're very, um, not, uh, they're, they're very, very productive. They yes. know with machines, they know with maintenance, uh, they're very productive. As, a, as a, we saw in Attack of the Clones, this, this massive factor where our favorite duo were there. You mean the Droid Factor? Yeah, Droid Factor, yeah. yeah. Before the arena thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, yeah, they're very productive, you know, and they're very, you know, they really can handle themselves, you know, when it comes to a very uh, chaotic occasion. Yeah. You know, let's put it that way, you know. But don't forget, they were the enemies. Yep. 
They were the fucking enemies. Bad so all or like I said, they, they went to the planet, you know, they found all the runes and they went straight through the tunnels and they found click like, you know, and of course that he was behind all the battle droids and the destroyers that you know that were, that were built up in good shape, you know, and tried to attack it and everything. Yeah. Until one time until one particular scene when the wall exploded and we have Saul Guerrero. Oh, speaking right. of Saul so, Guerrero, like I said before, he was voiced by the same actor who played in the role one, which for me was very, very amazing because, uh, fair enough, at the beginning I felt like uh, he's going to be voiced by the same voice actor who voiced him in the Clone Wars, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, still, you know, if they wanted to be like uh, a little bit realistic, you know, and connected with the Rogue One and everything, I assume, you know, it, it, that's it, even better. Yeah, it's even better. That's even, even better. The same, the same uh, voice actor who acted him, uh, voice actor in, in Rogue One. Ex no, voice actor, uh, played him. Not played him, yeah. Sorry. You know, if, if it was, I mean, if, if he was CGI, I would understand that, you yeah. know, but still. But I get the point. I get the point. Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. What the fuck <laughs> it. Uh, okay, so, uh, when he's speaking of Saw Gerrera, I think in this episode they used him very well. I mean, as an introduction, because, you know, uh, at the end of the part two, we, we understand that we're going to definitely see him, see him again, you know, I don't know when, I don't know if we're going to see him, like, somewhere in the episodes, or maybe at the finale, I don't know. But as a introduction of him, you know, and uh, also find out a little bit about his past, yeah. uh, about his personality, of him being uh, literally very extreme, you know, when it comes to, you know, trying to find out some information, completing missions and everything, you know, which we used to that, you know, we, which we, you and I were used to that, you know, when it comes to the Clone Wars, because yeah. he was in the same thing, you know, he was in the, acting the same way as did before, you know. Also, the one thing I really like is um, the little, you know, um, a hologram picture of her, of her sister Stella, I think it was name. Stella. Stella, yeah, thank you. Uh, Stella. Uh, wait a second. If I remember correctly, didn't she j fall from a canyon or something uh, on Al Alderaan? I don't know. I can't remember exactly, yeah. but uh, I know. Was. It, I know it was. Uh, I know the separatist gunship was firing, and but I think she fell. Yeah, she 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 fell there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she fell. Fell down, uh, from the yeah, death. yeah. That like I said. Also, the one thing I really like, you know, when Captain Rex was talking about him, you know, that he trained and everything, which is true, yeah. you know. So, I, so when it comes to him as an introduction and the entire plot, I think you know they saw they used Sogra very well. What, what did you think? Yeah, which is more more than fair showing of uh, Sogra, but now I also expect. Uh, I don't know if it's this season, but maybe the next season. But I they, think they, they must show. Uh, the battle or the conflict where so so Gr 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 was out so where he, where he no. was defected from the rebellion you yeah mean, you mean not that? only de defected from the rebellion but uh, heavily injured he had to have that uh, a breathing mask he had in row one you mean the, and, the, the voice the breathing armor. you mean the breathing voice the, the mean the voice uh, the breathing mask and the robotic leg robotic leg and the, or the crack armor well I don't know I mean I don't know if this is gonna happen in Star Wars Rebels or even that they're gonna show it you know but you know. But the one thing at least I'm uh, I want to see is how he defected from the rebellion, yeah. and how how they you know how they uh, he get out of, of the rebellion and everything you know like what what conflict you know they had you know uh, against you know all the other officers or against Mon Mothma. I mean, speaking even of Mon Mothma, I mean after I'm watching the trailer, she's also gonna appear in, in, in this season. Oh, yeah. I don't know how, but she's gonna. Yeah. So, like I said, the only thing I want from Saw Gerrera, I don't know if he's going to be in, in the end of the season or somewhere like a four or fifth yeah. season. I mean, I don't know how many they're going to make it. They're going to make, but uh, I want to see how Saw Gerrera defected from the band, like I said, the yeah. first two times yeah. and everything. Also, not forget to mention, like you mentioned before, we have shield generators, but the old versions that we didn't saw since the Clone Wars times. Yeah. 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 Also, one thing. Uh, what did, what did you feel about the action sequences? For me, they were well done. Uh, solid, like you said. Also, very solid, uh, fairly done. Uh, the action scenes, the first action scene, we have uh, uh, the ghost crew fighting against uh, droids from separatists, and uh, second scene is when Sabine and uh, Zeb are trying to get the the power module of uh, and the platform module of yeah. the shield generator back to to, to ghost mm -hmm. and then suddenly click like click like know. activates the uh, activates the droids and this is where is excellent thing they showed showed it up that the deflector core can project minimum mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't need all this superstructure to project the shield. Yeah also the one thing I really wish to mention is like I said 
memories, you know, and these things and everything, you know, for especially, for example, like, when Socarera said, you know, but when uh, Keenan jumped to the other side, you know, and he was like, you know, no, oh, I forget that, they, you know, that they can do that, and he was like, well, you know, he can do that, but he's no Skywalker. Yeah. You know, even if Keenan the end said, her that. Yeah, her that. You know, yeah. I, I really love, I mean, I really yeah. love, I really love this reference, you know. Or, or, or before, which are a long way down. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. I know this was sarcasm, or it was a joke. You know, when he said, "Oh, I think watch your steps, I mean, watch I think, your steps, I Master Jedi." Yeah. It's a long way down. That's a really actual. That for me, that's actually a really cruel joke. If, yeah, if he's but blind. I would expect something more like that from uh, Maul. He's crazy. Oh yeah, I mean, like the time when he said, "You know, just, just uh, oh, I, uh, oh, the smoothing sound of my voice." My no, 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 when I say. Over here, Master Jedi, just follow the sound of my voice. Yep. You know that? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Get I get it. I get the idea. But still, you know, like I said, uh, I, like I said, I know it was sarcastic or dark humor. Or you know, But still, you know, it worked in some way, you know. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, uh, also, don't forget to mention, you know, in this episode, we have, briefly, we have a new Imperial officer, which, uh, if I'm not correct, Captain. Uh, Captain Branson. You yes, know, a uh, uh, female imperial officer. The only thing is, I mean, there was uh, when I saw the episode, there was a lot of comments, you know, about the, this officer, and a lot of people say, you know, there was like uh, this, like Star Wars Rebels version of Ray Sloan from the book of uh, A New Dawn. I don't know, did you read the book? Mm, I'm not familiar with it. No, I mean, the story, uh, the story of New Dawn is about, you know, uh, the story about Kanan and Hera. You know, meet, uh, meet, uh, they met how they met for the first time, mm -hmm. and Ray Sloan, you know, back uh, in those days, you know, she was like the main villain like the main villain of, of the book and you know and that time you know she was a captain but during, I think during Star Wars Rebels right now I think she's supposed to be Vice Samuel I think you know because I you know when I when I, you know, when I watched the, her biography you know uh, as a character uh, at the end of the Battle of Endor she was you know um, she get the rank uh, she get the rank of Grand Emma like from it mm -hmm. you know so uh, so back to the, uh, Captain Brunson, you know, like I said, if that, if this is the version of Rice Sloan, I'm gonna be real disappointed because I, since I, since the time when I uh, read the book, I really want to see Rice Sloan back again in Star Wars Rebels. You know, like you know, like this, like uh, some kind of a personal enemy to Ken and Hera in the book. You know, this is something. That'll be fair enough. That'll be yeah, that'll be, yeah, that'll be fair enough. Yeah, yeah pretty interesting. Th pretty interesting twist. Yeah. Also, don't forget to mention it, she has. Typical Imperial uh, personality. Yeah. Which, I mean, all of the officers have. Yeah. You except Ron, who is not rushing and blind. Well, except him and yeah. Tarkin in some sort of way, or yeah. even Price. Yeah. Well, okay, maybe no, she's, well, no, the, no. she's the least, but uh, no. still. Price? Governor Price? I think not. Like I, I think said, think she's it. the least. Like, she's, she's the least. Late. She's yeah. a fish. She's a, 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 a occasional Imperial officer, you know, like the same personality, yeah. the same thing. So, oh, and also, uh, I have a strange feeling that we're gonna see her again. I, I, even at the end, you know, when they have, you know, when they try to, when she tried to bury them alive and everything, and when the ghosts try to, you know, get out of the hole and everything, uh, and they fire them, and I feel like, I feel like the light cruiser is split in half. Yep, split in half before it exploded, yeah. Yeah, split in half, you know, and the way her, she had her face like, mm. it's like, you know, oh, the last time, I will get you! Yeah. You know, that particular, uh, you know, expression, you yeah. know, so... So I believe we should be gonna yeah. see her again, but you know. But for now, serves her right. Yeah, but you know, yeah. but I also like I said, I want to mention you know, like you know, I always want to mention a new character in the you know in this yeah. uh, when it comes to every single new episode of Star Wars. Yeah. And they were descending down uh, deeper below. Oh yeah. In, in, this tunnel is whole complex. Mm -hmm. It was quite for me the swear the most sweetest th scene in the whole episode. The when the. Imperial rocket troopers uh, decide to no, try no. to stop them. Yes. To try to stop them. Yes. And, and then, then we have no, 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 for, no, first, first. Okay, first, fine, fine. The ghosts will try to defend them themselves by getting on the top of the ship. Okay. And then Sabine ran to the rescue, Mandalorian with the famous jetpack. That, yeah. That, and in this episode, we see she repair it. You know, and the funniest thing, one of the also which confirmed my theory that she, which was uh, that she will eventually at least try to repair her jetpack. No, actually that was obvious. But still, you know, but still, still, yeah. still, still, yeah. still. Oh, and okay. well, we all we both knew when she exited with the jetpack on and the ghost crew, those rocket troopers are screwed. 
Well, actually, that was that You're was Ezra. Ezra bro. Yeah. But also one thing about Ezra. Uh, first of all, uh, speaking of Ezra, because we we didn't catch a lot on Kane and Ezra. But no. first of all, I also really like Ezra's uh, Ezra's role in this episode. You know, like you know, uh, you know, being you know, being like you know, selfless and everything. You know, try to understand. Uh, click like you try know. Try to pick, uh, try to see you know, big, bigger picture. Yeah, try to see a bigger picture. Try to protect him. You know, yeah. like you know, you know thinking what is best, what is better for his own kind and everything. I mean, in the short terms, you know, he in this episode he really sounds like a true Jedi. Yeah. You know, I I, I, I like it this way. I like it this way. Like yeah. It this way. Yeah, but we'll see when you know, what's what is prepared for him in the future. Yeah. But still, you know, for now I really like you know the use. For now he's uh, good. Yeah, like I said, he's selfless. He's compassion. He's kind. You know. He tried to help Click Clack, you know, he, uh, out, you know, to help, to, help he him. He tried to reason, uh, reason with Goral, which oh. is not so easy to do. Yes, because everybody, everybody knows who knows Star Wars, but knows so Gorilla that he's an extremist. You know, he's he's that type of sense. Uh, he's a type of uh, he, his sense of justice is, I think, I think you know it from another universe. Absolute justice. I, they, for him, I will see Sogra in this sense of justice, absolute justice, absolute justice. That's which will explain why he's a, an extremist. You know, yeah. I mean, you can't even blame him after so many shit, uh, shitty things that happened yeah. to him in the past. You know, you yeah. can't actually blame him, even if, even if it's actually the same thing that Kenan said to Hera. You know, when she tried to warn him, you know, that he's a little bit extreme. I, even if I will say again, a little, a little, yeah, a little. Come on, seriously. I mean, he tried to barbecue the Genoshi, you know, just only to get to the shuttle. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but still, but still, you know, I really like the scene you know, when they tried to like have a little, you know, the, the, when they had a little struggle, you know, with Sokorella and tried to reason with him and everything. I really like the scene, you know, but like show, like showing Sokorella's true nature, you know, it's even if, good, yeah. even if at the end change it yeah. in some way, you know. So you know, uh, even if I, I, even if I was wondering one thing because uh, in his role one, you know, he had hair, he had gray hair, you know, but this in, in this time, you know, he was bald. So I, I so I, it appears like you know when like Sogra meet with the ghost with the ghost crew, uh, it means like you know the the girl from Rogue One. Uh, I can't actually remember her name right now. You know, but you know the main character. Yeah, I know. Yeah, if, if I mean if Sogra was bold, that means you know that uh, she's still a child. You know. Yeah, yeah. Because if you have you have to. Remember, that would be logical. That would be logical. Because yeah. you have to remember when when the first time he get to her. She was, uh, you know, she w uh, he was bold, you know, and she was very young. So yeah. maybe you know, so then maybe I don't know maybe the, the, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not some year, some question year, right some now. Some distance is yes, certain here. I, I mean, uh, I don't know. If, uh, it, it has to be. I mean, he barely walks. Yeah. In Rogue One. Yeah, he barely walks, of course, and everything. But you know, the one thing I was actually wondering right now is the only, you know, that. Uh, you know, like you know, uh, was it you know when when he met the ghost girl, uh, ghost girl, like you know, was it uh, after or before he get the girl from Rogue One? I mean, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, uh, came in some kind of some kind of theories in my head right now and everything. No, but it, we'll see, we'll yeah. see. So it's overall, okay. so overall, one thing I'm really happy is you know it's about them time that you know they put some uh, Rogue One references in Star Wars Rebels because like I said, it's two years since New Hope uh, and a year before Rogue One. So you know. Overall, all this. So yeah, no. So so somehow they had to, they have to get you know very closer, closer, closer to row one and everything. Yeah. So yeah, which is logical. Since yeah, done with the seasons and the time. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say something. Yeah. No. <laughs> ah, okay. So overall, you know, so overall, like I said, also I really like the uh, Kanan, you know, uh, Kanan's you know personality and uh, characterism, you know, in, in this episode. Yeah. I really, I, I, I really liked him and everything. Uh, so overall. What did you feel? What, did you, you know, what, did, what are your ratings for the ratings for the episode? For the episode, considering all the facts, all the scenes they put together, all the characters, all the references, I'll put five. five. Fair enough. For me, even for me, it's five. five. The, also, that, it, this episode definitely deserves it. Uh, definitely five or five. Completely, all completely. Yeah. Overall, also I wish to mention two things. Like what I really like in this episode. First of all, Clack Clack, like you know his character and everything. Yeah. Even if I was a little bit surprised because uh, since the clones attack and the Clone Wars in the way how the, you know the uh, the Genosha, you know you know acted, you know their personality, yeah. you know the being cool and everything. Uh, I was a little bit surprised, you know, that Clack Clack, you know, w w was actually that, that, that different, you know. But yeah. he also, you know, also and he, he also didn't have wings. Yeah, but some yeah some Genosha have wings, some they don't. Yeah. Yeah. 
It depends. It depends what kind of type of Genosha we're talking about now. Yeah. So overall, I really like that. I really like his character, uh, and also I really like the tunnel thing. You know, when they when they were after him, yeah. when the Ezra, you know, and Chopper, you know, were divided, you know, and then you know, like <laughs> that's like, be, like the light. <laughs> yeah, they you know they tried to go after him and everything, and then one particular scene, you know, when they lost it because he went on top. Yeah. You know, uh, they just bang. Yeah. Look up, Brainiacs. <laughs> yeah. 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 Also, well, the one thing I really like is the fight when they try to, you know, when they were on the under the gener uh, the shield generator, you know, when they tried to fight the destroyers. You know, I really like the scene with uh, uh, Sabine and uh, Zeb. I really like that. So overall, it's even five out of five even for me because you know this episode was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Like I said, Kan, Ezra, even Sogorera, including, including his introduction as a character, they used him very well. Kleklek was a very interesting character, mm -hmm. even if I, you know, even if a lot of people will say comic relief, but still, you know, was okay. Yeah, uh, he, he was really good. I really like you know the tunnel chasing, you know, and the. Build up, uh, build up story for Rogue One. Yeah. The references, the references, and the Death Star. Also good yeah, scenes. yeah. The action sequences were very good, especially when it comes to Sabine. And Sweet Treat at the end, of course. Ah, oh, yes. Sabine Ram. Yeah. Showing off her uh, her skills to rocket Imperial rocket troopers. How it's done. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So overall, I think we five said five. yeah, five out of five for me. So, five out of five for me, and you for you is five out of five. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I think, I think we said everything. What is that? Okay. Okay, so fair enough. Okay, so here we are done. Read the video, comment, subscribe, me a positive example. What do you think about Ghost of Genosis in general? What do you think about Saul Guerrera, about Kayan, Ezra? What do you think about Clack Clack? What do you think about, you know, the tunnel chasing? In short terms, like I said before, give me your personal thoughts about the, in general about the episode. Uh, drop a like, appreciate it. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also on YouTube, like always. Uh, peace everyone, have an awesome rest of the day. Lower shows like always, sign off. Right on, sign off. See you next time.